Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content down below at the Easy Widget at the top. At the end, this is going to be a video on the St. Louis Cardinals yet again making the playoffs starting tonight. They're a team that never ceases to impress. They always seem to find a will. If there's a will, there's a way. They are the team that lives by that saying in the National League and always finds a way to get into the playoff. Number one, um, I should have done this in the other videos too. Some of them I highlighted the manager, but um, in this one, I definitely have to because Mike Schilt um, for the Cardinals, since he's come into the league and has been the only guy that doesn't have the same experience in terms of playing the game as other managers, has been pushing all the right buttons, finding ways for this team to win and finding ways to get it done for the most part. I mean, obviously, he's been doing a great job since getting in there day one, and he deserves to be shouted out for that. Another guy that's obviously going to be a first bout, is, at least he better be a first bout and Hall of Famer, is Adam Wainwright, <clears throat> who is pitching great again this season. Uh, he's proving that age is just a number in his age 40 season, just missing 20 wins at 17 and 7. And realistically, the win number, as we know, is not to any fault of the pitcher. Usually that's more to the fault of some games there that, that he could have got the win if they scored earlier or what have you in all different scenarios there. And he pitched over 200 innings at 206 innings and still had 174 strikeouts. And only a 1.06 whip, the pitcher for tonight's ball game, Adam Wainwright for the St. Louis Cardinals. And then they, of course, have another guy that's one of the most electric pitchers in baseball in the young Jack Flaherty, who was 9-2 and in 17 games with a 3.22 and is one of the best pitchers in the game when he's healthy and going at full tick. And they obviously have him for this. They also have the lefty in Genesis Cabrera, who's really electric um, coming out there and having 70 innings pitch and 77 strikeouts. So they can use him in any way, shape, or form against any lefties or even against righties out of the pen because he can get anybody out. So they got a very good, they build very well from their pitching. They, of course, brought in, um, Kwa, I, I always mispronounce his name, but Quang Hung Kim um, from overseas. And he's done well for them as well, a 3.46 ERA. So this team scouts pitching, whether it's from overseas, whether it's from their own in-house or whether it's from picking up different guys and um, having them develop and actually flourish um, in their department. So that's what they're going to be able to do. Dakota Hudson is another guy that's pretty success or not successful, pretty good pitcher with good stuff. He hasn't been able to be fully healthy yet in his career to show what he can fully do, but he came back at a couple good games. He's active. So you see what he's able to do in the playoffs. Obviously, Andrew Miller has great experience. You want to have experience when it comes into going into the playoffs out of the bullpen. So they got the bullpen. They got Giovanni Gallegos. He's an absolute monster as well. So they got the bullpen. They got enough guys in that rotation, particularly if J Dakota Hudson also comes back and can really step in and um, establish himself. And maybe he can be that Evaldi, how Evaldi did for the Red Sox when he wasn't fully in that season, comes in out of the pen in the playoffs and really is a difference maker, kind of a secret weapon. That's the guy there. He has the stuff to be able to do that. And he merged, so you have to see what he's able to do. Yachty had a very good season overall, fell off a bit at the end. But, I mean, he still had a um, very good overall season. Uh, you, of course, have Nolan Arenado on this team. Uh, the big kahuna. He didn't have the best batting average season, but he did have a 105 RBIs and 34 home runs, still hitting 255. And if that's your off season, that's a great off season to have batting average wise because he did great everywhere else. Um, Paul Day Young is of course a very solid overall shortstop, but the two guys in the in the lineup, excuse me, you're definitely going to want to watch out and have to really rely on if you're the Cardinals is Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt and Nolan Arenado can hit the ball anywhere. They can hit it wherever it's pitched. They can hit it if you just pitch it a little bit above the dirt. So those are obviously the guys you really have to watch out for. And then the other guys are the big three, which is the big three in their outfield that emerged this year in Harrison Bader, Tyler O'Neill, and then you, of course, have um, Dylan Carlson as well. So all those guys are guys you have to watch out for. And then you even have, just for the heck of it, <clears throat> a guy that actually mixed in pretty well as a late-round pick, as an eighth-round pick, um, 
in Nuthbar, who's actually played not batting average-wise, but solid otherwise when he's needed to mix in. So the Cardinals always have those good bench guys that mix in well. They have that again this year. They always have the guys that they develop from in-house. You got the Baders of the Woods. You got the Carsons. You got the uh, O'Neills that are all really emerging as that big three in the outfield. And those are the guys, because of their emergence, that really helped you to be able to fuel this and be a team that feels like the 07 Rockies that, of course, did make it all the way to the World Series. They, of course, were not able to capture it, but the Cardinals are a different team. They ain't the 07 Rockies. They just got the vibe of that with how hot they got. And like they say, nothing better in sports than being the hottest team coming into the postseason. And that's really what the Cardinals are. So you're going to be able to see if they're able to take advantage of that. Adam Wainwright's able to hold down the potent Dodgers lineup. And then if they're able to jump jump on the Dodgers, excuse me, and actually be able to get the runs going via the Goldsmiths, the real, via the Arenados, and via that big three in the outfield. Obviously, that's going to be the keys for them, but I'm going to talk about that more in the game preview I do after this video. But for the Cardinals to be successful, if they're able to get through this game in the playoffs, it's going through those two guys in the infield at the corners, Goldschmidt and Arenado, and it's going through that big three in the outfield, plus the pitchers I mentioned at the forefront of this video. If those guys got it down, this team is as scary as any because they are one of the hottest, if not the hottest, coming into the postseason. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below or on the widget up above if you enjoy the content. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody, and enjoy the playoff game tonight. Peace out.